Hey guys, Sensei Costarell here with some activities you can do for your PE fitness charts using a bean bag. So I'm going to go through a few activities here. Some of them we've done in class. But you guys don't like to get up and move in class. But you have those fitness calendars to turn in. Let me grab one out of here real quick and show you what those look like. So when you do these activities, you can write them on here or your parents can write them on here. Okay, this is part of your gym grade, your gym requirements. So you should be doing a physical activity every day. Whether it's going outside and riding your bike or taking a walk or helping your family rake leaves, playing a sport, whatever it may be. But if it's too cold or the weather's not good outside, you can do some activities inside. And it's always stuff that I've sent home for you. So this is the beanbag one. So if you do one of these activities, make sure you write it in on what day you're doing it. There's a chart for November, and then it was on the back for December. All right? So these are some beanbag activities. First one is balancing it on different body parts. I want to get it on my head there. Make sure that I can balance it on my head. Balance means it's there without moving. Maybe I'll try it on my shoulder. On my elbow. On my wrist. Maybe with three fingers. So I made the number three with my fingers and I'm balancing it on three fingers. Angle this camera down a little bit. My knee. This is a good one for balance. My foot. See if I can keep it on my foot there. Now when you get good at staying in one place and balancing, you want to try to start moving around with it. Okay, so I get it balanced on my head. You don't need a whole lot of area. Just walk forwards, walk backwards, trying to keep it on your head. Go side to side. And you could do this on any of the ones I just showed you. Maybe I could spin around in circles. Maybe when I put it on one knee, I don't know how this is going to work. You could kind of hop, and that doesn't work very well. Okay? Maybe when I put it on my foot, I could try to hop and keep it on my foot. That's a little easier than the knee. All right? So that's balancing with your bean bag. Flip it. I'm going to start with my hand out, palm down, the bean bag on the back of my hand. I'm going to toss it up in the air and try to catch it with that same hand. So I'm going to flip it, just little tosses, we don't want you breaking anything in your house. And you want to use both hands for that. So switch back and forth. If you do it outside, you could toss it a little higher, okay, or if you have higher ceilings in your house. But you don't have to, you could just use little tosses to flip it. Then you can flip it, catch it with the opposite hand. Flip it, catch it with the opposite hand. Little tosses. Toss in the air, catch with one hand. Catch underhand, catch overhand. So I'm tossing it up. I'm catching it underhand where my palm's facing up. Tossing it up, trying to snatch it. Those are little activities that you can do with the beanbag that develop your hand-eye coordination as well as your motor skills but they don't take up a lot of space. All right, one of my favorites, clap counters. So you're gonna to toss this bean bag up and see how many times you can clap your hands before you catch it or before it hits the floor. You could do it either way. I'm gonna do it with catching it. And see how I got it, kind of got to move a little bit. Keeping my eye on the bean bag the whole time little strategy I like to use with this, and it also helps work your stomach muscles, your abdominal muscles, is as it's coming down, I like to do a squat. It gives me a, another half second or something to try to get that extra clap in there too. Okay? And it works more of your core area too. So you got balancing, you got flip it, you got clap counters. This is another fun one too. 
get your parents permission before you do this. I've got a chair here. All right, my office chair. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna toss this over my head without looking and try to land it in the chair. I throw it too hard. I'm trying this for the first time, so. Oh, too hard again. So I'm doing is I throw it too hard, now I gotta fix it. Oh, there we go. Okay. So that's chair toss. The last one is, you can practice with directions, forward, backward, left, right. This would be helpful if you have somebody calling out the directions for you. So I put my beanbag on the floor. Somebody says forward. I go forward, backwards, to the right, to the left, backwards, to the left, backwards, forwards. All right, you can do it faster and faster. And work on your footwork and all that too, and your agility. So it's really good for a lot of things too. Okay, so those are some beanbag activities you can do with your beanbag that was sent home in your Fizz Ed bag. All right, I hope you guys enjoy them. Make sure if you do them, you're marking it on that fitness chart to get credit for it.